I'm Dan Fitzpatrick on Tuesday, May 15th, and I uh, want to look at Groupon again. I covered this thing yesterday, um, noting that you really wanted to be careful about buying this thing at the open, um, and because for a couple different reasons. Um, first of all, the stock had traversed from the lower band up to the upper band in a very short period of time. Then you had the 50-day moving average. But the most important thing is this. Look. Uh, back on the 10th, this puppy closed at like 987, right? Well, so it opened today, earlier today, at almost 15 bucks. Well, you do the math on that thing. That is a pretty hefty uh, move in just a few days. So the question is, is there that, is this like that much of a fundamental change? The fact that these guys had good numbers. Is that enough of a fundamental change to stop this downtrend and start moving into an uptrend? I would pretty much say... Uh, no. You had a lot of short covering here. There was also a little bit, of, I won't say cheerleading, um, on, in fact I definitely won't say cheerleading on CNBC, but you did have some traders saying, look, even though this stock is going to pop, I would still suggest buying it. Now, one thing though, the comments were, and this was on Fast Money, um, the comments were, I think Guy Adami had said, hey, you know, I think this thing could go to 15. He didn't anticipate the thing opening at 1489. I mean, I think the stock was trading at around 12 and change um, during the after hours market when they were recording this show. Uh, they do it live. The point is, you got to listen to this stuff. You got to listen to what they say because Guy, I'm pretty sure it was Guy, it might have been uh, Pete, he was correct in saying, hey, you know, I think this could go to 15 bucks. But if you just blindly buy the stock at the open, uh, without really giving it too much thought, then you're going to get killed on this stock. Uh, in fact, we look intraday and you can see, yippee, everybody who bought at the open had a, a chance to make a whopping four cents before the stock turned around and headed south. Um, what you got to really understand is this. You need to have price targets. You need to have some, some control as far as how much risk you're taking on. And you also need to really just understand uh, a couple things about price action. And this, I believe, will serve you in good stead as we all rush to buy the Facebook IPO at the open on Friday. Not, at least not me. Um, when everybody wants in, what happens to the price? When everybody wants in, the price spikes to, I know, about here when the market opens. Why? Well, because you weren't able to get it before the market opens. So they open the doors at the same time for everybody. Everybody rushes in and the price gets marked up. Well, everybody goes to the checkout line at the same time too and they all get the same price. Once they have gone through the turnstiles and out the store, what happens? No more demand, the price falls. We see that in Groupon. I suspect um, though I can certainly be wrong. I suspect we're going to see that same thing in Facebook, guys. Uh, I think that it's going to get a massive pop at the open. Everybody wants, to, wants an allocation. Yet, you know what? All the big traders that I know, the folks that actually do have accounts large enough to get allocations, you know what they're planning on doing? Selling them to you and me on Friday. Keep that in mind. So when you're buying a pop, you can oftentimes expect a drop. The more likely scenario, frankly, the thing that you're going to find is when you see a big pop like this, you know that there's going to be a lot of, you know, by definition, there's a lot of demand for the stock. When it all gets filled at the same time, once that demand is gone, all there are are potential sellers, and those potential sellers will convert into sellers, and that will drive the price up. And, you know, just as an aside, compare what happened with Groupon to a, a stock like Ross Stores here. You can say, well, everybody wants Ross Stores too. Well, yeah, they do. That's defined by the uptrend, but they're not all buying at the same time. There's a little more aggression in terms of demand or buyers versus uh, supply or sellers. So that keeps this stock moving up nicely in, in a very orderly manner. At some point, that's going to change. But for now, it seems to be intact. But here, you don't have that nice steady progression. You have everybody piling in at the same time. So what do you do now? Do you buy Groupon right now? 
Not me, baby, because you know what? That trade has been traded. This stock has popped. Now all you have are, is this is like a trail of broken bull hearts here. All of these folks that bought here will love to sell you their stock. I think this is one that you just want to stay away from. Honestly, at this point, I think it's dead money. Uh, full disclosure, though, I've never thought much of Groupon's business model in the first place, so I guess that would put me biased um, as bearish on this company, so you just keep that in mind. But I just think this stock is done. I would rather buy Green Mountain Coffee Roasters than Groupon, and I'm short Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. Okay, members, get over to the strategy session right now.